Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Hey, good. How about yourself, Professor? Excellent, excellent. I'm having my lunch. Oh, perfect time then. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, Giselle. How are you? Hi, good. And you? Good, 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 good. Good. <laughs> ah, so, um, what can I do for y'all today? Um, I have a question on chapter two. Yeah, excellent. It's on number 16. So on the buoyancy mm -hmm. equation, I plugged um, the density and I first used uh, the density of air, which says it's wrong on feedback. And then it says to plug in the density that I found and I did that and I still get it wrong. Well. <clears throat> uh, question 16 is where you use the ideal gas law to calculate the, um, the density, or is that a different one? The, like, um, is this for getting the, the mass of, the mass of sodium? Uh, right. Okay. No, they give you the apparent mass and you find the true mass. Right. Uh, okay. So let's um break that baby down. Okay. <laughs> so the density is going to be grams per liter, right? <clears throat> or grams per ml of helium at 20 degrees C in one bar, right? So let's see here. Um, let me pop over to the document camera. Okay. Oops, that isn't it. Hmm. To be off. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so let's see here. This looks like this is should be problem 16 that you're seeing up here. Oh uh, sure yeah. I, this is my my cheat sheet. Obviously here. And um So uh, does the problem look like it comes up in the density calculation, perhaps? Um, I get I get the same density. I just have a different apparent mass, and it's okay. 0. 500 grams. OK. OK. Buoyancy sure. correction, assuming D sub A equals 0. 0.012 grams. OK. Um, Okay, estimate the buoyancy correction if you weighed Na in sodium in air and find the apparent mass in air. <clears throat> so it's 0.873 or 0.872, correct? Uh, so, yeah. um, okay. So let me, um, I have to find a stupid formula for this. I have it written down if you, need, if you want it now. Okay. Um, hold on just a sec. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and, and uh, just tell me what the formula is. It's M. Uh, it's it's M, M over M prime. Is that what it is? No, it's M true equals and then okay. M prime. M, prime. M, M apparent, right? Yeah. Times one minus density of air over density of weight. Mm -hmm. Over one minus density of air over density. Density of the specimen, right? <clears throat> that you're actually weighing, right? Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so the density of the weight is always eight. Uh, they use some sort of standard. Oops, this is lost. Lost of focus. 
you something to focus on. There we go. Uh, density of the weight is eight. Density of the specimen, it sodium is a little bit lighter than than um, than water. Actually, Let's see here. what is the density of water? Or the density of sodium. Uh, ba, ba, da, ba. 0.97, excellent. Um, D sub A, and you did D sub A and you got the same thing that was in the homework, which was You got 1.64 times 10 to the minus four. Okay. All righty. So the apparent mass was, what was the apparent mass again? Um, I have 0.900 grams. Oh, no, the, uh, the apparent mass is the one that they actually weighed. And the, the, uh, is that, is, are we on the same page? Uh, I think so. Okay, hold on, hold on. Because you have 0.870 Four, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, 0 0.873, right? The apparent mass is 0 0.873, right? Yeah. So, okay. So. Yeah, so I have 0 0.900. Right. Oh, the result of this calculation is 0.900? Okay, that actually seems fairly close. Yeah. One minus the. Uh, Is that tracking your calculation so far? Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> and I get, I guess 0.901, which is three sig figs, and it's, it marks it wrong. Oh. Let me check. We just it. may have to um, ignite a firebomb above Macmillan Incorporated. Okay. Oh, is it the units? <clears throat> you know, I got point eight seven three. This thing is so close to one. I got 0.873 for the answer. Let's let me try. Let me, let, let's break this down into a numerator and a denominator and kind of do it in parts here. So 0 0 0 1 6 4 8 divide. This is 1 minus 2.1 times 10 to the minus. Fifth. And this is one minus. Um, zero point, oh, no, I call it um, 
1.69 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay. So if I evaluate these guys, This is the denominator is zero point nine 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 eight three, and the numerator is zero point nine 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 eight. Oops, zero point nine 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 eight. Okay. Let's say and that comes out to zero point eight seven seven times one point zero 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 one, which equals at three sig figs zero point uh, eight eight seven. Is that is that so where did where did you go wrong? Um where did you get the 2.1 times 10 to the negative 5? That uh this guy here is 1.64 times oh, 10 to the minus 4 oh. over over 8. Okay. Oh, um, I don't know. I, I did do that, the first one, which is the same. Mm -hmm. I just changed the 0.900. And I did it again, and I get the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I actually um, calculated it on my calculator here and got 0.873 also. Were we really? Yeah, oh, with um, 0.873 grams, apparent mm -hmm. math. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I get that too. I just did it. I get 8771. Is, 877. Okay, 873 and 877 are not the same. So there's still a fly in the ointment. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's my calculator. <laughs> well, <Really>? um, <laughs> um, so uh, could be grouping error, right? Uh, one, six, four, one minus over one minus. So you 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 do these one minuses before you do the division, right? Right, yeah, so point, okay. I'll just do one, six, four. Got it. So happy I didn't have to do an ideal gas law equation. Probably would have taken me a week to find all the R values, get everything debugged. You off. Let me try again. Okay. okay so Hang in there. What do you got for me, Jorge? I got um, one nine nine. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so, um, who's going? Giselle or Jorge? I think she's still uh, calculating. She's, so I guess I'll, she's calculating. So go ahead and tell well, me what you got. Jorge. Sure. I guess mine is more a bit of a philosophical question. <laughs> oh, thank um, God. Right. So I feel like um, I've definitely fallen behind a little bit. And um, uh -oh. some of it has to do with uh, the math is a little discouraging. I'm not going to lie. But um, yeah, I was yeah. just wondering. What would your okay. opinion be to right. kind of help catch up again and not fall uh, too behind and stay on track at right. this point well, in the semester? So, um, let's talk math then. I'm just going to throw out some problems. And we're going to see how you do. Oh, 
a paper coming. I decided that I had to write on my desk. So I wrote this outline for the paper so that I knew where to put the paper and where you guys would be seeing what. So I'm not sliding it around all the time. Although I'll still be sliding it around. Probably. So um, <clears throat> let's do some easy stuff first. Let's say that you want to prepare um, 0 0.250 liters of 0 0.237 molar um, uh, sodium chloride. Right? So um, now I know this is sort of embarrassing, but hang in there. I'm totally on your side, 200%. I'm just trying to sort of gauge, I mean, hopefully, so we can have a good conversation about it, gauge your thought process a little bit, right? So um, uh, how would you approach this problem? Right, we've got 0 0.250 liters, we've got some, some salt, we're gonna shove it in there. We want the concentration concentration of sodium chloride to be uh, 0 0.273 moles per liter. So how would you start that? Um, oh, I know, okay, so the question, so hold on, the question is, <laughs> How many grams of sodium chloride do you need? All right. So um, I think the first thing I would definitely look for is the uh, molecular mass sodium chloride. Okay. So my CL is going to be 23 plus 35.5 is going to be 0 0.5 times 3 is 8, 58.5 grams per mole. Right, so um, I would uh, create an equation here with that. So let's see, I'm gonna write it down also. Three, okay. uh, seven grams. Two. Okay, so let me ask you um, this. Uh, so you shut me up or do your thing for a sec, then I've got questions for you. Um, sure, let's see. Okay. Uh, so I would take the um, the the molarity of the sodium chloride that we have and multiply mm -hmm. it by its um by the molar mass of the uh, sodium okay. chloride. Okay. Okay. All right. Take the molarity, which is zero point two three seven moles in ACL per liter of solution. Right. And multiply that by by what again? Uh, 58.5. 58.5 grams in ACL per mole in ACL. Right. Excellent. Now let me ask you this: What have you got once you once you do this? We just evaluated that. What would we have? Um, we would be uh, figuring out how many grams of the sodium chloride we have from the molarity. Mm-hmm. Or from the right. uh, concentration, at least. Right. Right. Exactly. And so, so let's look at the units here. Um, uh, moles of sodium chloride, they cancel, right? Mm -hmm. And the unit comes out to grams per liter. Okay. Right. right. Um, so. From there, we would then have to take the um, the uh, the molarity, right, of the sodium chloride, to get it back into moles mm -hmm. per liter. Mm -hmm. so, so this is fifteen point nine seven grams per liter. Right. So now, uh, now we want to use the volume. So I'm sorry. You tell me. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
let's see. So, sorry, Chris, um, if we could slide it up for just a second again. Sure. Oh, slide it down to me. Right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, like you were mentioning, then that's when we use the um, the volume. So mm -hmm. then we multiply the 15.97 times the 0.250 liters. Right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So that will be um, three point nine nine. Perfect. So I, I got sloppy here. This is grams of sodium chloride, a liter of solution, an ACL solution, grams of, and then this is liter of solution. So this is the number of grams of sodium chloride that goes in there. Perfect. Okay, good. All righty. So you have all the tools you need to succeed. Right? You have intuition. Um, you can see the proportions, see what transforms into what. You're good. So, um, there's a lot of weird twists in Chem 55. It's sort of like where um, <clears throat> uh, we actually hit a bunch of practical problems and they're just beasts sometimes. You know, they're just like, ah, how do you get there, right? So um, uh, why don't you tell me where you first hit, hit a problem, like the kind of problem you were doing is like, ah, how do I get the answer? Um, I, I can't recall off the top of my head, but I would say probably chapter two, um, cause it feels like chapter one, you know, there's a lot of conversions in them. There's a lot of units, you know, that we could just memorize or create some sort of chart. Um, but yeah, that's where I feel like some of it came in. I don't know uh, if Giselle had a similar problem as well. Yeah, it was mostly chapter two, especially the, mostly the ones you had to put the weight percent and you were given. Right, right. Okay. Excellent. 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 Okay. All right, uh, let me pull one out of my head then. Let's do a weight percent problem. We'll do the same type here, but we'll do it to get, um, oops, don't push me that way around. Um, I'll use a new page here. So what, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna, um, let's make um, one liter of one molar um, H2SO4 uh, from the concentrated acid. What we know about this acid is that it is 98% H2SO4, SO4, sorry, SOY, why do I do that? Plus 2% water. H2SO4 plus 2% water, right? Okay, so um, now the formula weight of H2SO4 is 2 plus, oh God, 32 plus 16 times 4, which is um, 64, right? 32 plus 64 plus 2, it's an even power of 2. To write it in binary, uh, let's see here. Um, it's a six ninety six. It's ninety eight grams per molar. Surprised I didn't remember that. So there's ninety eight grams per molar. So I did all the hard work for you. Now you guys do the rest. <clears throat> uh, 
Actually, I did all the easy work. So what are we finding? Sorry. We want to make one liter of one molar sulfuric from concentrated sulfuric, which is 98 percent and 98 grams per mole. Oh, that's okay. weird, huh? But that's how it comes. It comes as 98% as 98 grams per mole. Oh, right, because it's one liter on one mole. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so first question I would have here it's basically the only question is how much H2SO4 um, <clears throat> to make this one liter. QS, I learned today, I saw it ages ago. This QS one liter, QS, what is QS? What is that? This semester, I was getting ready for this class. I better figure out what QS means. And it's like, it's, there's some Latin words like quotient satori or something, but it means is enough to make or is sufficient. So how much H2S for QS for one liter of this stuff? So, well, how many moles? How many moles do we need? That's an easy one, guys. One mole? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> Just one mole of H2SO4. Yeah. Well, what if it was uh, something were different? It's not always one mole, right? <laughs> it's one molarity, one mole per liter. One mole per liter times one liter, right? All right. Yeah. One mole. Okay. So, um, Jorge, mm -hmm. I see you're sitting in a lab, <laughs> and I think it is could be the fifth floor. Oh, no, it's just a, um, a background that I put up. <laughs> oh, 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 you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me. Oh, that's so funny, that's funny, yeah. I was going to say, you might have to, if you can't get this, then you have to change the biochemistry. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm, ironically, I'm stuck. What? Is that what we're saying to yourself? It has to be Chem 55 lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, That's I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what were you saying, Professor? No, no, say what you were going to say. I want to say, um, <laughs> I'm, a, uh, although I'm, I'm a chemistry minor, and I'm quickly realizing maybe a biochemistry should have been 
the minor oh, I took, but it's okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, but what's your major? Uh, kinesiology. I want to be a physical therapist. Oh, so interesting, interesting. Yeah. You know, that's exactly what my niece did. She started in chemistry. She went to kinesiology. But in her case, it was because she could not pass calculus. She just couldn't do it. She tried and tried and tried, and she just couldn't do it. So she bailed on the major. She went into kinesiology. She got, she got her degree. Then she went back, and she got a certificate in clinical lab science. Now she's a clinical lab scientist, which is actually a great career. It, it, it can, yeah, I heard it's a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I had no idea that was going to happen, but that was, that was kind of an interesting turn. But, um, but yeah, that's awesome. Be a physical therapist. My, my, I, um, so this is kind of strange. My ex-wife's sister's husband, so sort of like my ex-brother-in-law, he, he's a respiratory therapist, but he is a friggin' magician when it comes to physical therapy stuff. Just amazing. He coached track for many, many years. And like, I just saw him at some, somebody died, right? and I went to the wake, and I saw Ernest there. I said, hey, how's it going, Ernest? You know, we talked a little bit. I said, ah, oh, yeah, you know, my, my left calf is just really hurting. Just, oh, no, no, actually, it was my, sorry, take it back, it was my right knee. My right knee was killing me, right? And Ernest said, oh, um, and, and he said, okay, just stand here. And he, he took two fingers, right? Two or three fingers, right? And he, he like, right on the, sort of the top inside part of my calf, he went boom, 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 boom. And I was like, ooh, I kind of hurt a little bit, you know? But then my knee has not hurt since. That was years ago. I'm not kidding. It was amazing. I thought my knee was going to be like a bum knee. It just All I needed was a little pain. I know, I know. It is so weird. It's so weird. And it was like, he said it was like activating the muscle. Right. Mm -hmm. There's like, you can either activate it or you can, you can cause it to like relax, right? And you, the way you get it to relax is you take, you just push on it. Just kind of hard, constant pressure, you know? And then it, ugh. And it just like kind of lets go, you know? Anyway, that was super. I'm just blown away by that. Anyway, so back to our back to our problem here. So we need a mole, right? So how do we get a mole? We need one mole. How many grams do we need? Uh, Nine hundred and eighty-eight. Nine hundred and eighty-eight grams per mole. We're gonna go with that. So, ah, um, uh, yeah, probably that's what we would do if we, we actually read what I wrote. It was ninety-eight point eight. So pointy. <laughs> Wait, ninety-eight point five. Sorry. What? There's no five there, it's just 98. So it's 98 grams of H2SO4 per mole of H2SO4, right? Right, and that's gonna, that will tell us how, how many moles we need. So we need 98 grams of H2SO4. Okay, so if we have 98 grams, then what, um, uh, what, how many, how many grams of H2SO4 solution do we need? Right, that's the next question. Um, do you take the, the 98 grams of the uh... H2SO4 and multiply it by 0.98. Okay. That is a great idea. 
but it's completely wrong. It's upside down, actually. Okay. It's oh, yeah. upside down, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Because okay. um, although we didn't write it and the 98 grams, it's technically grams per liter, right? Uh, uh, no, no, no. The 98 okay. percent. That's a weight weight value. Mm -hmm. So that's 98 grams of H2SO4 in how many grams of the concentrated solution? 98 grams, it's 98%. Therefore, it's going to be 98 grams of H2SO4 in how many grams of the concentrated solution? So weight, weight percent. Okay, so that's where the 0.9. Uh, okay, no. no, no, no. Let's uh, just say that equals 98 grams. Wait, um, this times 100%. What goes down here? This is, I'm, I'm, I'm torturing you on this because this is important. Uh, is it um, one minus uh, 98? Close, very, very close. You're totally on the right track. You're on the scent, right? It's actually easier than that. It's, uh, just one minus one or 98 minus 100? Uh, nope, that would be minus two. Right. Um, so, so look at it numerically, 98 times 100 divided by what equals 98? Uh, um, 100. Right. Okay. okay. So 100, but why 100? Plus. Sorry, 98 plus? The water? True, true, exactly. But we actually, we have, there's an easier way to think of it. That this 98% is always, it's grams of stuff divided by 100 grams of stuff, of, of total stuff, right? And solution. Grams of solute per, per 100 grams of solution. Okay. Right? So, um, so if we need 98 grams, right, and we have to multiply this by um, this is 98 grams of uh, sulfuric acid that we need, right? We have to turn that, we have to change that from grams of sulfuric acid into grams of concentrated sulfuric acid solution, right? It's kind of like they're close, but they're not quite the same thing, right? That in, in, the, in the sulfuric acid, there's in 100 grams, of concentrated H2SO4, there are 98 grams of H2SO4 proper. Does that make sense to you? Yeah.
Does that make sense to you, Giselle? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So 98 grams of sulfuric, right? We can then multiply this by some factor that's going to turn it into um, grams of solution. H2SO4 concentrated. Okay. Now, what will that factor be? It comes out numerically, it's kind of trivial, but um, but you were, Jorge was onto it, right? With this one minus bit, and you were there too, Gizzo. But the thing that, um, but we have to find a single factor by which we can multiply the 98 grams to get concentrated acid solution grams. So what will that be? Um, is this when we do the uh, one minus 100, uh, which would give us the, or the, uh, maybe so not 100, one, but 100? Okay. So if you say 100 minus 98, right, that'll give you grams of water. Right? So that in every 100 grams of sulfuric acid solution, there are two grams of water. Right, so you could we could say the opposite for the sulfuric acid. Right. Every hundred grams, right. there's ninety eight grams. Right. Of sulfuric acid. Right. Did you get that, Giselle? Um, no. Can you repeat that? Okay. For every one hundred grams of sulfuric acid, there are ninety eight grams. Okay, I said it wrong. Sorry. Rewind. For every 100 grams of sulfuric acid solution, there are 98 grams of sulfuric acid okay. and two grams of what? Water. Right, exactly. Okay. So what we need to do is multiply this by a factor that will give us grams of solution so um, I kind of got, it's a little bit congested here, right? Uh, but you're going to multiply 98 grams of sulfuric acid. That's the total number of grams of sulfuric acid we need by a factor that will give us grams of the solution. So whatever's in the denominator there has to be grams of H2SO4. Right. So the grams of H2SO4 can be canceled by that. And what has to be in the numerator is grams of solution, you know, the concentrated H2SO4. So that's 0 0.98? Okay. Um, 0 0.98 in the numerator or the denominator? Uh, numerator. Okay. 0. 0.98 grams of solution per how much sulfuric acid? Uh, 100. Okay. Don't write that down. Let's just think about it. 0. 0.98 grams of solution over 100 grams of H2SO4. Is this is this a ninety eight percent solution of H two S O four? No, it's not. No, <clears throat> that's that's nothing. So what we need is zero point nine eight grams of H two S O four. That that goes along with one hundred grams of solution, right? Does that make sense? This is the definition of 98% H2SO4. Right? Sorry, did you write the same thing? Isn't it 98 grams? Uh, 0.98 grams of H2SO4 
not solution. Oh, right. Okay. Right? So here we have grams of H2SO4. We need 98. This goddamn 98 is everywhere. <laughs> because it's 98%. It's also 98 grams from all. Ah! So it's not really. Let's do HCl next. That's 35. <laughs> so, um, so we have to put something in the numerator here that has grams of solution and something in the denominator that has grams of H2SO4 so that we can get the grams of the solution that we need. Okay? So let's go for that um, brass ring one more time. How many grams of solution for how many grams of H2SO4? Jorge. Um, so it would be 0.98 grams of the concentrated solution uh, divided by 100 grams? No. Or, no. Hmm. No. Not that. Giselle, you want to take over? It's point ninety eight. Oh wait, um, a hundred grams over point ninety eight. Yes, yes, it's a hundred over ninety eight exactly. Right, not point ninety eight, but hundred over ninety eight. Does that make sense? You guys are like a tag team. <laughs> Jorge goes out and he grabs the leg and he. And then he gets smashed. And then he pounds on the floor and Giselle comes and dives off the ropes, grabs a guy by the head. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this will, this will get us. Uh, it's like, it's going to be 100. This is where it's kind of easy. 100 grams of H2SO4 solution right, is how much we actually need, right? So, now, that is actually my preferred stopping point. But it's not, not always a, a, a good place to stop, okay? Because a lot of times you want to do this volumetric if I say you need 100 grams of this concentrated acid, that might be a little bit tricky, right? So you need to know what about the acid in order to get the volume. Uh, sorry, Professor, but uh, actually, I've got to get going. I've got to be somewhere soon, so. Uh, okay, no problem, yeah. no problem. But the Thank answer so is the density, milliliters per gram. And that's going to be, you know, 1.73 grams per ml, something like that. And that'll give us the milliliters. Good? Yep. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so okay, much. Cool. Okay. I'll, try and, I'll try and post these guys. Oh. <laughs> and then it's kind of random, but uh, Giselle, I think you're in my Chem 112B class too, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think so. For yeah, Dr. Samaka, Brooks? Oh, it's Samaka. Uh, I have Samaka online. Oh, okay. I think it's, we might have the same tutor, and I've seen your name pop up. That's what it might be. Oh, <laughs> Nicholas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Is it Nicholas Robino? Is yeah. he your tutor? Oh, he is so friggin' smart. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah he's. He's uh, he great He has straight A's, like mostly. A's and A pluses. How does anybody do that? Right. I leaked something. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Good that we have them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So you guys all right? Uh, Giselle, do you want to do more? Um, no, I got it. Excellent. The okay, cool. Thing was just you writing down it was 0.98 grams over the solution, but then it's right. totally clear to see that it's over a solution. Yeah, it's it's good. <laughs> Excellent. Just Good. Excellent, stuff. excellent. Okay, we made progress, right? All right. Excellent. All right, guys. We'll talk, all right. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Thank you.
Bye.